Welcome. After a break, I've been off uh, the kitchen for a couple of days, so we are back today with a very, very traditional Tamil Nadu dish called the Arsi Upma. It is an upma basically made with rava of rice instead of the regular suji rava. The ingredients that would be required would be a rava made of rice or you coarse grind pound rice to this consistency. The other things I'm going to use are very prelim very elementary things like uh, rye, jeera. I've taken about one and a half glasses measure of this rubber. So this will be the measure. I've taken about six to eight green chilies. Again, this is extremely variable. The variation depends on how spicy you want the food to be. Understand upmas do take in a little more mirchi than other dishes because they cook, cooked in a media that takes and absorbs a lot of the spice. I have curry leaves. I have pre-soaked chana dal in a reasonable quantity. So the oil is getting heated. I'll start off with the tadka. You'd notice that I'm using a fair quantity of jeera, more than one spoon. I'd go with a similar quantity of rye or mustard seeds. Some freshly chopped curry leaves. A nice helping of. And now, after I saute this, then I add green chilies. I told you I've taken about six or seven green chilies, depending on how spicy you want it to be. Also understand that the genesis of this uh, dish is from Tamil Nadu, therefore it's not going to be very spicy at the end. I've told you that I've taken one and a half glasses of rice rubber and therefore I'm taking three glasses of the same measure of water. So if you're taking one glass of rubber, you'll take two glasses of water. Now let this water come to a boil. Increase the volume and as the liquid is getting heated, also add salt. I'm taking salt in its granular form because I've added water. About one plus spoon of granular salt. Now let this mix come to a boil. You will see that the water has come to a nice boil. Now I'm going to add this rice rubber into this and critical will be ensure that they do not become lumps when they get into the water. So constantly ensure that you're steering it as you are putting it into the water. The rice rubber has gotten. You can make out from its very look that it looks a little different from the regular rubber that we use for upma. It's a beer rubber as people in familiar with Telugu would call it or arsi ravai as the Tamilians would call it. Let this cook again, this time on a slower. Let it sim its cooking. It's taken about 15 minutes for this mixture to come to this consistency. 
And I must also tell you that I have added another measure of water. So initially I told you that it would require double the measure of water, but I think you will have to use, depending on how it gets cooked, feel free to add some more water to ensure that the rice rava is completely cooked and comes to this kind of a mix. Another interesting difference between this and the regular rava upma would be that in a regular rava upma when you're using soji for rava, you roast the rava sometimes and then make the upma. Over here you will not do that. Rice when roasted gets a completely different smell and flavor which doesn't really go well with this. You can sure try. I don't think there's a mandatory injunction against it but you can sure try. Now after this is over, I'll put off the stove and then add freshly grated coconut into this. So I am now mixing the freshly grated coconut with the rice upma and we'll catch up at the presentation. The arsi upma or the beer prava upma is ready. I've dressed it with some freshly grated coconut and curry leaves. There's the typical vadu manga, another typical Tamilian mango pickle made, especially in the months of March and April in Chennai. So I have that to go with the upma. Have a nice day, time to sign off and also time to acknowledge Ritika and Datu's contributions and acknowledge Abhinav behind the screens. Thank you.